one million kilo wheat from my church. And we sent it, listen, we sent it with a boat. But do you make a joke? Do you mock me? Do you blaspheme me if I must say that because of our limitations, we had to take 25 kilo first, and then we took 25 more, and then 100 kilo, and then 1,000 kilo. And if I said the first hours, we take only 500 kilo, then we will continue with 500 more. Jesus said, now I, I have just come now to the Israelis. I must start here in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria. But then he declared, and you always keep quiet about what the Bible says in its, con in its context. This is your tactic all over the world. Jesus said, my love is for the whole world. Time is out, and this is very typical. Many questions, no time to, ask, to answer. We thank you, Mr. Stanley Schoberg and Jachmin Dudat for their speeches. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to proceed to the session where it's going to be your turn to ask questions. We have not yet told or informed about how this is going to go about, so I don't think it's any idea that you line up yet. We have to be finishing this session at, no, at 10 o'clock tonight, so we will have about one hour. And my co-chairman here will inform you about the rules of the question, and please listen carefully. Thank you. Sisters and brothers, we have now come to the question time. There is a mic in front here. Could you please form a queue facing the mic? The queue can run along, round the corner to the gangway, so that it is an orderly queue. Thank you. Yes, Honourable. Now, in order for the questions to be conducted efficiently and, and fairly, brothers and sisters, would you please pay attention? Sisters and brothers, please pay attention. Thank you. In order for the questions to be conducted fairly and efficiently, there are certain rules that we must follow. First of all, please, will you present your question relating to the topic in hand? That is, is Jesus God? And please do remember that it is question time and not lecturing time. If you wish to deliver a lecture, perhaps you will make some arrangements with Pastor Stanley, and he may be able to organize that for you, in which case we shall come and listen to you. And only one question at a time, please. If you wish to make or ask more questions, please go to the end of the queue and wait your turn again. Please also present your question in a brief and concise manner and to the point. Lastly, brothers and sisters, as there are two speakers here, and we have to be fair to both of them, the questions will be treated 
in an alternative order so that we shall have first question for Pastor Stanley, the next question will then be for Mr. Didad, and so on until we run out of time. Thank you. We also want to inform that the last question will be allowed at 10 to 10. So the first question goes to Mr. Stanley Schoberg. Uh, I'm a Muslim woman Swedish. I have a convert to Islam because I get so confused with the Gleis, with the church. Excuse me, I speak French. Uh, because I always wonder if I'm going to pray to God or if I'm going to pray to Jesus or if I pray to Jesus before God or I, I don't understand this this is very confusing and I say so when I turn to when I come to Islam I have this clear clear for me it's only one God and I believe it's that it's way I don't want to uh, I believe in Jesus too but I want to say that uh, he he was also flesh and blood like you and me, and we are all, way, all, all human beings. And I hope you understand my question. I do fully understand your question. <laughs> and the Bible tells us that we should pray unto God. And there is no conflict within the Trinity as the Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are one, as God is one. And if you pray unto God the Father, or you talk to Jesus, or you ask for guidance of the Holy Spirit, you talk and address the same God. But Jesus came into this world in order to reconcile mankind with God and therefore we are taught to pray in the name of Jesus because as Jesus resurrected from death, he resurrected in a heavenly body. You said here before that Jesus could not be God as he could eat, but like the angels and God consumed the sacrifices in the Old Testament, Jesus in his heavenly body, he is divine. In spite of his revelation in front of the disciples. So you pray to God in the name of Jesus. That's the way to come in close contact with God. Thank you, Stanley Schoberg. The next question will go to Mr. Ahmed Didat. Assalamu alaikum. My question is to Mr. Ahmed Didat. First of all, I'd like to thank him very much for all the help he has given me personally and to many other people like me who uh, who have uh, embraced Islam and who this used to be my church 84 85 this used to be my church now my question is uh, I would like Mr. Didat to explain a little bit more about um, uh, 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 refute to refute more of the Trinitarian doctrine and if possible to give us a little bit of a history of the development of that doctrine the Trinity we know that it was a result of a long period of theological infighting that the divinity of Jesus Christ and the holy nature was established and that this debate actually took place in Alexandria between 316 and 323 BC in Egypt between an African Athanasius and Arius. Athanasius' point is if Jesus Christ is the son of God, he must be younger than God and since God is eternal, he cannot be God. I'd like Mr. Didat anyway to explain a bit about this. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Before I give any understanding on the Trinity, I must thank the Almighty and say, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah for saving my neck. The pastor, he had 10 minutes and the Bible in his hand, 
He couldn't give what I was asking. I said, one phrase, one sentence in the Bible where Jesus says, I'm God, or where he says, worship me. Thank God, he failed. And I knew that, therefore I took a chance. Otherwise, I would never have taken such a chance. <laughs> With regards to the Trinity, you ask the Trinitarians. Ask the Trinitarians. They believe the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. And they continue in their catechism that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. That's how 